society, you have to be on social media, regardless of whether you're on social media, your event or your business needs to be on there. So social media is a great way to showcase an event that you've got. I'll, I'll start calling the community houses businesses because mm -hmm. you guys need to behave yep. like a business. Yep. Showcase what you offer and why a person would join your organisation. So for you guys, it's kind of like a three threefold because you want people to sign up as well as um, if you've got an event, like you're showcasing something down at Knox, you want as many people to, to be notified as possible. Um, using social media though works best when you're driving it back to your website. So if you're looking at using social media, you don't just use Facebook and then that's it. You've got to bring it back to the website. So if you have a landing page, like you have an event, make sure you have a landing page on your website that you can drive people back to your website to get more information. Um, so as you can see in the um, statistics here, 49% look first thing in the morning. Now just to give you an idea, because I also um, teach at RMIT, so I teach a whole bunch of like 18 to 20 year olds, and I always ask this question, when do you first look at Facebook? And they actually even tell me that they get up 15 minutes earlier so they can look through their Facebook and they can look through their Instagram and they can look through their Snapchat just to make sure they haven't missed anything the night before. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Whatever your audience is doing, that's what you need to mimic on social media. Okay? Smartphone users and pretty much, you know, 90% of the population now has smartphones. Check their phones 100 times per day and Facebook 14 times. Next page. A lot of people that I speak to go, oh look, my, my target market's not on Facebook. And I go, rubbish. Because <laughs> that is not true. And again, it might have been true five years ago, but not now. So if you have a look at Facebook, especially the 65 plus, 95% of 65 plus are on Facebook. Yeah. Australians are the biggest users of Facebook. Okay, we use it more than America. Mm -hmm. America are Twitter users, we are Facebook users. So Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Snapchat are our big ones. Okay, well, you wouldn't use Snapchat for 65 plus, but you would use Snapchat if you've got teenagers like 13 to 18 that you want to try and um, get involved. So it's all about your target market. Do you guys know your target market for each of your events and areas, etc.? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I won't go into that, but that's something that you need to understand before you even touch on social media. Speaking mm -hmm. to the students, I said, what do you use most? Mm -hmm. Okay, because a lot of them go, look, we don't even look at Facebook anymore and stuff mm -hmm. like that even though it's on every single computer that I could see in the classroom. Um, and okay, okay, so what do you use first? They go to Snapchat first, right. then they go to Instagram, then they go to Facebook. Okay. But mind you, as I said, every single one of them are on Facebook, okay? Mm -hmm. And every single one of them are using it because they use Facebook Messenger. They're still um, Pinterest, Pinterest is great for that. Now at the moment, there's about 300,000 Australian users 60% of them are women and 40% are men that are on it. Okay, last year, uh, halfway through 2014, they did a massive drive because it used to be 80% women and 20% men. So Pinterest has gone, well, we want to get the male market. So what they did, they started to showcase and advertise man sheds, bars, you know, all the stuff that, you know, gardens, all the stuff that would appeal to men. So men can not feel like they're, you know, doing a girly thing, of course. Another good thing about Pinterest is that the average time on site is really high. Okay, when you compare it to Google as opposed to Pinterest, as you say, time escapes. I'm going there just quickly looking up, you know, social media, because I use it for that as well, social media. And all of a sudden, five hours has gone by. I'm like, oh, God, I've got to cook dinner. <laughs> Who's on LinkedIn? But usually, when you're um, from a personal point of view, if you're looking for a job, yeah. um, people look at LinkedIn now. It's usually 25 plus years. However, a lot more um, when I deal with the teenagers, I get them to create a LinkedIn page because you have to. 
as you saw, the the youngest, um, it's gone down to 13 years because there's entrepreneurs out there that yeah. are 13 years old. <laughs> so that's that's the state of our world at the moment. This is really good if you're looking for, um, and I'm looking at it from a community point of view, that maybe you're looking for donations, maybe you're looking for partnerships, okay? Um, you're looking for volunteers, um, that this may be the way to go as well. Mainly B2B, so business to business, but it's also H to H. Now, do you guys know what H to H is? So what's B2B? It's business to business. Okay, what's B to C? Well, business to customer, so the customer will be community. H to H is human to human. So it doesn't matter what business you're in, what kind of customer you are, you are still a human being. Um, so what you can post is company branding. So you can have inside looks and interviews. So you might have a bit of video interviewing, um, you know, that you might have positions available for, um, for childcare. You know, these, this is the person that's going to be looking after the children and this is their experience and um, what, what they bring to the table. The issue I had with Snapchat when I first started is why don't you want to keep the photograph? I've just taken a beautiful photograph of the food that I've made. Why, why, why do I want to blow it up and not have it ever again? That's what I had to get my head around. When I said that, I was asking them how many times they use it a day. And this was at 11.30 in the morning. And I said, okay, so how many times would you use um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat up until 11.30? One kid puts a hand up and went uh, about two to three hundred. Mm -hmm. And I went, what? <laughs> two to three hundred? They're snapping away. 18 to 23 year olds. 71% being under 25. That is naturally getting older. And mothers are now naturally getting onto it because they want to see what the hell their kid's been up to even though their kid probably will never send them any photographs. Yeah, Think yeah. about what, with the volunteers, you might do Snapchats on what's happening behind the scenes with volunteers because it just doesn't magically appear. Mm -hmm. Or you might do new products, leaks or services. So it might be that you're doing a promotion of something brand new that's coming up um, that you want to Kind of only 140 characters, so it's, it is definitely the KISS principle, so keep it simple, silly. Not only 19% of Australian internet users use Twitter compared to 95 who use Facebook. Okay, and that's from the 2015 um, census social media report. So we use it to keep up to date rather than tweet. Mm -hmm. So do you guys know how Twitter exploded onto the Australian scene. When they were evacuating, they were actually tweeting because they had to tweet because at least if I saw it, then I'd let my neighbours know. You know, and then they were of course going up and down with the cars and stuff, but that was the quickest way to do it. So the way we use Twitter is in a professional sense. Okay, there's rarely ever like or like with T V and I don't stuff. I understand like. Twitter, I just explain the um, glossary. So the hashtag is, um, who, so who actually has used Twitter? So you've used Twitter? Mm -hmm. You guys don't really use it? Okay. So the hashtag is the symbol that immediately comes before and it highlights a keyword or topic. So if I don't hashtag, then it doesn't come up. So like with what Karen was saying with MasterChef, she might put at MasterChef, so MasterChef gets her, like, gets her reply. New South Wales and Victoria are the leaders in watching YouTube. So if you don't have anything on YouTube or video, then you're um, you're losing out. Um, 100 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. So we're just talking about YouTube. We're not even talking about Facebook at the moment. Because people have mobile phones, they, they're more than happy to watch it on their mobile phone. And if, it's quite interesting. So I have a look on the train now. A lot of people are watching Netflix, mm. YouTube, whatever. Mm. A lot of people are watching videos. Mm. Instead of listening data. to music. Yeah, listening yeah. to music or reading a book. Yeah. One. So people kind of go, oh, do I really need YouTube and Facebook? Yes. The answer is yes. Okay, and I'll explain why. So this, this post, 
Um, Guy Kawasaki is a great uh, entrepreneur. So he did a test where he showed, he uploaded a video straight to Facebook. So not he didn't put it onto YouTube and then posted the YouTube video on Facebook. This was straight onto Facebook. So as you can see, nice big picture, okay? And that picture and that video was seen by over 30,000. There's more content, more friends, more pages. You are competing against 50 million other people, okay? And if you've got a friend that posts two, three times a day about their coffee and their food and everything, you're competing three times over, okay? There's probably about 1,500 to 15,000 potential stories. And there's over 100,000 algorithm weights. So I know a good few, I don't know all 100,000, okay? Um, then about 300 stories are selected and that is what actually comes up on the news feed. And yes, content is affected by user interaction. If a business page comes up on your news feed and you don't like it, you don't do anything for it, Facebook recognises that and kind of goes, okay, well this person didn't like or didn't respond to this message, so they may not like it as much, we might not show them next time. Because Facebook is all about the customer. Okay, and if the cus if you as a customer don't like or respond to that page, Facebook do not want to upset you, so they'll show you something to post. It's not about selling, it's aimed mm. to increase engagement on your business. So more people see it organically. If you've got something interesting, people will share it. Okay? So Kanara actually posted something about um, a writer's group. I think Lillian was having a and because it's of interest to me and because people want to showcase what they believe in. Because Instagram is owned by Facebook. So what you see in Facebook is what you'll see in Instagram. Okay, so 53% of users are between 18 and nine, uh, 29. So it is a younger audience, although there's a lot more people our age that are getting onto it. There's a lot more mums that are so on It's a visual storytelling. So, and you can also post videos on there. Okay, social network. Um, the thing that people love about it is that you can actually add filters to give it a more personal life. amplification. It used to be a couple of years ago, and some businesses still do it, that you weren't allowed to talk about the business on social media, okay? Which I thought was a bit crazy, because why wouldn't you want to, I mean, obviously they don't want bad social media stuff. Um, but if something great is happening or an event is happening, why wouldn't you get your star, who, are, who ideally should be loyal to your company, to showcase what you're doing, okay? You guys are a community group. Showcase it to everyone. So what's happening now is that marketing is beginning to realise that the best advocates are the people that work for you. It might be the people that work for the doll. Anyone who has a personal social media account, real-time engagement. We were talking about instantaneous items before. You need to have someone um, responding, okay? And it, uh, I understand everyone has their own weekends, it's really hard, but you need to, bad luck. 24% of customers expect brands to respond on social media within 30 minutes. That could be at two o'clock in the morning, or that can be at you know 12 o'clock on a Friday.